Arm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The guard and off guard are Mitchell and Levert. Then it's Max Struess. Then there's George Nian. And it's Tyson in at the four-man position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And here is Sharich following the three-pointer by Donovan Mitchell. Here's Porter. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Niang's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Levert. Pass to Niang beyond the arc. Denver grabs the miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Jennings, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And free throw good from Jennings. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And it's Gordon missing. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Struess finds Mitchell. Hands it from downtown. Mitchell's got six points in the quarter. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. And I bet he's thinking that he could close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Here's the screen. Five on the clock. Levert from outside. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Floats it up for Sharich. The pace that Westbrook plays at and allows him to find angles and lanes to get the ball into the hands of shooters. For Cleveland, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Ask to Niang. Back to Levert. To the inside. Niang, no good. The Nuggets leading by seven. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his third foul of the game. Akoro's checked in for the Cavaliers. Now into the lineup for your Cavaliers. Number 35, Isaac Okoro. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Jennings can't get it to go. Cleveland's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. That's one he knows he should have drained. Porter passes to Westbrook. Jennings in the corner. Fader on the way. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Okoro's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Cleveland moving the ball around. Unloads from 13. Rebound by the Nuggets. Now here's Westbrook. Charge in the high post. Here's Porter. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. How about the strength from the big fella? Porter is used to having to power through contact. The bulldozer, he's checked in for Charge.
One shot. Free throw good, Porter. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Denver's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Jennings kicks to West. Inside, here's Porter. And they'll get another chance. Gordon, from 16 feet away, he cans it. Gordon's got the lead up to 12 now for Denver. Yeah, the ability to hit mid-range shots makes Gordon that much more dangerous. Talk about versatility. Now, here's Levert. In the corner, Okoro with it. To stop the run. Hits the three-point bomb. Okoro's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Westbrook kicks to Porter. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Jennings. Jacks up a three. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists in the game. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Here's a Coral. And here's Mitchell from the arc. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Lowry's got rebound number seven for him tonight. With the teardrop, Westbrook can't get it to go. And so Levert will bring it up for the Cavaliers. A Coro shot is off. Denver leading by 12. Here's Porter. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And the size Porter Jr. has helps him on those physical takes. Great work inside there. Allen's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for Karis Levert. And here is Garland. Pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. Sinks the triple. Garland's got 34. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Outside Porter. Murray against Garland. Lowry passes to Jokic. Porter kicks to Lowry. Fires the three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Here's a Coro. Porter with a block. A Coro with it. Porter's there. Back to Struess. Pass to Garland. Off target from outside. The Nuggets leading by 12. Outside Porter. Out left to the wing. The tray. And they hit it back. Here's Brown. Lowry for three. Garland with the rebound. The Cavaliers shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Allen with the screen for Mitchell. Wound up there for Allen. Hammers the alley oop through. For a big, Allen is so fluid, setting a pick and then gracefully rolling into position. And it's Michael Malone calling timeout here. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. Evan Mobley 
Barkley's checked in from Hex Cruz. And Denver also making a switch. Jennings has checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Was able to listen in on what Michael Malone went over with his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Now here's Murray. Jokic finds Jennings. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. That's good from Jennings. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Pass to Okoro. Mitchell a screen on Murray. Okoro shot is off. Where you'll see him miss such an open look. Porter dishes to Murray. Jokic with it. Back to Murray. Lowry setting the pick for Murray. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. And I feel like Jokic has 360-degree vision. I mean, no matter where the open man is, he's going to find him. Now, here's Mitchell. Now on a screen on Murray. The three from Garland. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Murray, the pass to Lowry. Back to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Garland. Here's Murray. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Murray's got 12 points in just the second half. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Garland with the bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And here's Jennings after Darius Garland getting his shot to go from deep. Just five to shoot. Down low. Jennings against Mitchell. Lowry kicks to Porter. Murray outside. That's good from Jennings on the assist by Murray. Murray's got his seventh assist here tonight. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. And Kenny Atkinson calls timeout here. He's very aware of the timing here and the significance of getting things squared away with his team. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Jamal Murray. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. to a Coro. Murray against Mitchell. 
Okoro setting the pick for Mitchell. Oh, good on the triple. The Nuggets leading by 16. Outside Jennings on the wing. Porter. Outside Lowry. Jennings against Garland. Six on the shot clock. Jennings with the bucket. Jennings has got 10 points in the quarter. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Now, here's Mitchell. He had a nice open look right there. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Here is Jennings. To the paint and stolen by Mobley. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Nuggets. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jamal Murray. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. Here's a Coro. Denver getting their last shot to go. Mobley a screen on Murray. The three from Garland. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the Nuggets. Pass to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Shoots from the right block. And Jokic gets it to go. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. A nice shot by Okoro. Loading up to stop Mitchell can lead to big breakdowns defensively. Guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Jennings against Mitchell. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Nicola, coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What's gotten you to be more vocal? I just want to help my teammates. I think if I say something, they're going to listen to me. I just want to make them better. So I'm just going to do that. Well, it sounds like they're listening, man. I appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you for that, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony and our reporter David Aldridge and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. And now we present the player of the game, Jamal Murray.